Hello everybody and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 26. Today we're going into a wonderful little conversion program for Windows and Mac called Adapter. Adapter is basically a converter for video, audio, and images. And it converts almost any type of video into any other type of video, but it also converts it into audio. So if you just want to strip the audio out, or if you also want to create animated GIFs, it can do that. It's pretty amazing. You can get it at macroplant.com or do a Google search for adapter video converter. When you come down here, you can see uh, it has a very clean website, not a lot of pop-ups or anything else like that, but here's what it does, right? It converts video of any format, any resolution, any width or anything else, and it can even add subtitles, audio tracks, and everything else. It'll convert audio from any format to ringtones and everything else. And you can even do images here, like I said, any resolution to anything else. It's kind of crazy. What's kind of neat about it is that you can even preview your video, which I'll show you in a second, while you know, and see what it's gonna look like based on the settings you, you set up. It will also do conversions in batches so that you can just set a bunch of them, convert and walk away. You can trim if you know your start and end times. It's not quite as easy as other trimming tools, but it's still, I mean, if you know the times, you just punch them in there and it'll cut it. Finally, it's just really easy to use and it's free. It has no pop-ups or ads or anything else there. So let's take a look at it. So Adapter's interface is rather simple. Basically, it says drag files here to get started and then select your output format. You'll want to select the output first. So I'll go in here and let's say I set this to basically an MP4 type, which is the most common type and it's easy to use for our EdTPA purposes. I've got some sample video files here and I'll show you one. So I'm just going to drag this one here. Seven minutes of terror, pretty long video. It's five minutes long. It's 73 megabytes. So what it does is it automatically then processes that little bit, estimates the file size, and it's going to go from 72 megs down to 96. And that's assuming that I'm going to keep the resolution the same. It compresses it a little bit, saves me a little bit of space. That's not too bad. But if I hit the gear icon, it expands and I can see a little bit more here. And if I hit the preview icon, I get this preview panel at the bottom that shows me what it's going to look like. Now I can choose my preview duration from 5, 10, 15, and so on. So I'll choose 15 seconds and let me just jump somewhere into the middle of the video here, right? Now it's creating a 15 second preview. And so I can just go ahead and play it, but it still looks right? And good. see roughly what it looks like. looks pretty good. If I pause it, I can see it's eh, maybe a little bit fuzzier, but not by a lot. Now, what happens if I make some changes here? I can come in here and say the resolution, mm, that resolution is 1280 by 720. Let me bring it down to 720 by 480 or something like that. Or I can put in my own. You can even tell it to lock the aspect ratio so that it automatically makes sure that the height and width uh, stay the same ratio and it doesn't stretch the video. Then I can see maybe a little bit more artifacting and things like that on this. And if oh, I hit yeah. preview, down to the surface, I can pause it and you can see that, yeah, the the stars in the background there are a little bit um, fuzzier and things like that. Right, so this is pretty good. I'm ready to go, let's hit convert. The conversion is actually pretty quick. I've used other converters in the past and this one is not too bad, man. Um, now this is from one type to the same type. This is MP4 to MP4, but I have tried some of the other ones here as well. And so the conversion isn't too bad. This is resampling it and changing the resolution and everything. I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, so once it's complete, um, I can then just hit delete and clear this from the hopper. If I want to, I can get rid of some of these extraneous windows by toggling them off or turn them back on if I need them for another use. And my video is over here in the folder. So this is the same video, but it just it appends it with a number if it is the same file name. So there's my video at 33 megabytes, slightly smaller, right? And slightly more compressed, you can kind of see that. When people look at it, Okay, so let's say I want to do a batch. Well, I can just select a batch of files and drag and drop them over there. So let's just do maybe four of them, drag and drop. And they're all going to have the same preset generally. Um, so I'm going to say, that, okay, let's say all these are basically going to be preset to 720 by 480. And you'll notice that they all show that they're going to 720 by 480 and they show the size that it's going to be and the duration and so on. I can preview them all if I want to, or I can turn that off and just stretch this window to see them all. What's great about this is that once I'm done with any of the presets that I need or the settings, I can just hit convert and it's gonna start a batch conversion of every single one of them and goes through it, done. All right, so that's Adapter. There's, I mean, I could go into a deeper dive on this, but I want to keep this video nice and short. Uh, get out there and try it. It's free, it's Mac and PC, and it handles almost anything you want to throw at it and converts it for you. Definitely one of the more impressive conversion programs I've seen in a long time.
So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to follow us, please hit that subscribe button. Share this with your friends and family and workers and enemies and everything else. We post videos almost every week. We will be missing a couple of videos in the coming weeks because I do have some vacation time. But we'll be right back on schedule once fall semester hits. So please look for it on a regular basis. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.